Hey guys, Barbara here. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I've been trying to make this video for quite a few days, but I keep getting interrupted by the ice cream man going by, the winds howling, the dogs barking, Joe clearing his throat, the phone ringing, just about everything that could happen, happened so I couldn't record this video. So finally, I feel like I have it all together that I can do it right now. So this video is going to be about the questions I get asked the most about my books. The first question is, girl, I did not even know you had a book. I only know you from the Bear Pantry Show. What is the name of your book? So I became a published author for the first time in 2010. But I don't want to discuss that book. I want to discuss my second book, which came out in 2011, Beans and Rice and Jesus Christ, because this is my cookbook. Perhaps you bought this one from me, which would have the blue spiral and color picture like this inside. Now, when I was making this book, I didn't know what I was doing, so I took the pictures regular landscape, and I didn't realize they had to be profile, and so that's why the pictures look like that, but you guys never once complained, and for that, I'm really, really grateful. You may have also bought this one, The Perfect Bound, that had black and white photos. Now, the reason why there were two books is because right when I was making this book, the guy that published it for me asked me if he could distribute it online. And when he went to go sign it up for Amazon and stuff, they told him that they were no longer accepting spiral bound with uh, color photo inserts. They wanted full color of full black and white. So he had to go with full black and white and perfect bound. And this is what he's been selling. And he's been selling a lot of it, but I haven't been seeing the profits. So that's why I had to go ahead and make this book all right so now let's get into the questions that i get asked the most about the book about this one this one right here so the first question is what is the hardest recipe in the book to that i have to say rice and beans i can make a five quart pot of rice and beans really easily but if i have to make more than that i have to run the joe the rice and beans whisper to ask him for help in multiplying the stuff that i need to do so i would say for me the hardest recipe is still rice and beans the next question is what is the simplest recipe not the easiest but the simplest and i would say fried jack because it's just flour baking powder and milk and if you don't have milk you can use water make it into a dough and you fry it so that's very simple now what is the easiest recipe for me would be my mom's potato salad or the bread pudding those are very very easy for me because once you follow the instructions precisely they come out perfect each time now the next recipe the next recipe the next question is which one is my favorite my favorite recipe in the book is my mom's potato salad or jam roll so i have two now, can I get the book in Belize? Yes, the book is now available in Belize. This book right here, my dad has books. So he's my distributor there, my dad or my uncle. And the books are available in Georgeville, Belize or Belize City. Hit me up in the comments below and I'll give you my dad's information. So if you are in Belize, you can reach out to him and pick up your book from him, all right? Now, the next um, question I get asked a lot is, are the recipes gluten-free? I don't know because I don't know what gluten is. I only imagine that it has something to do with carbs and flour and stuff like that. And because I don't know what gluten is, I can't tell you if they're gluten free. The next question that I get asked a lot is, are the recipes vegan by way of default? Some of the recipes are vegan. And I say it that way because like for instance, rice and beans is vegan because there's no meat product in it. The milk that we put in the rice and beans is coconut milk. Likewise, any of the coconut candies, those are vegan if they don't have butter in it, of course, like the wangla and the um, stretch guts and cut of and stuff like that. I think those don't have any butter and stuff. And also anything to do with the beans or beans panadas. I do refry my beans with butter, but you could switch that out to any type of vegetable oil or shortening. You know, so by way of default, some of them are vegan. And I think I found like 30 of them that are vegan. So just go through the book and you'll find some, all right? Now, the next question I get asked the most, what's the difference between uh, this new book and the old book? All right, so the in the old book, I had 101 recipes, but some of the recipes, although... We make those recipes now in Belize. They are not really authentic Belizean. So those are like banana bread, carrot cake, the frosting for the carrot cake, mashed potato and tuna salad. I removed all of those. 
and I put in a lot more authentic Belizean recipes like the Wangla Tableta Kota Brut Trifle, you know, all that stuff that I did not have before Hodut. I didn't have any of those recipes before. I learned those since I've been doing the show, so I put them in this book. So you have quite a bit more recipes. This one has 130 recipes, all right? So I try to give you guys some value because I do realize if you already put out the money years ago or maybe even recently to buy this book, or to buy this book, you might not want to invest in this book. You know, so I had to put some value in this book for you. And while I was putting value, this is one of the other questions that I get asked, is the book available as an ebook? And the question is yes and no. Now, yes, it is an ebook, but it's because when you purchase this hard copy book from me, there's instructions right here that you can follow to download this onto your ebook reader, all right? So the uh, no, because you can't buy it separately as an ebook. It's just when you buy this, you get that free as a gift. And I did that because I wanted to give you guys some type of value. I could have opted not for the company to do that, but I want that for you guys, all right? So when you get this book, you also get the ebook for your ebook reader as a free gift, all right? So now the next question that I get asked a lot is where can I purchase the book for right now? This book can only be purchased from my dad in Belize or from my website bearpantryshow.com or from Facebook because at my Facebook page, The Bear Pantry Show, I have a shop and I have Jada's EP there and I have this book there, okay? So you can purchase this book. When you go to Facebook and you're going to purchase it there, it'll lead you back to my website, of course. And my website is safe and secure because I'm using Shopify as a cart and I don't get to see any of your info. They take care of all of that behind the scenes. The only thing I see is what you've ordered and where you want, it, want me to ship it. And if you put any um, special notes, like can you autograph it to so-and-so for me or something like that, because you can do that. You can, right now I've been autographing all the books, but I have not been putting specific names because let's say your name is Mary and you buy the book, but you want to give it to your sister June. I don't want to say, hey, Mary, yada, yada, yada. So I've not been putting any names in the autograph, but you can specifically tell me if you want me to do that, right? The next question is, where can I get the first book? The answer to that is nowheres. You guys, of course, the book is still available at Amazon and so on, but you already know that I'm not getting any of the profits. So I would ask you not to purchase this book. Don't share it on your social media. Don't tell anybody about this first book. Just let this book go away somewhere. The hardest thing is to pull a book off of the market after it's already out there. I did do a cease and desist on this guy, but he's still uh, selling my book to Amazon. And I think eventually I will have to sue him. I did reach out to Amazon to ask them to stop purchasing the book from him because they purchase a set amount a month and they pay him within like net 30. They said they wouldn't buy it anymore, but they're still doing it. So the book is still out there, but I would prefer that you not purchase this book. Pretty please with sugar on tops. Now, the next question that I get asked the most is why did you change the name of the book? Let me tell you guys, I've gotten quite a few phone calls to my Google number, people calling to cuss me out about the fact that me taking Jesus Christ off the name, because this was Beans and Rice and Jesus Christ, and now the book is just called Beans and Rice, Volume 2, Authentic Beliefs and Dishes. And they say, don't you know that Jesus was the one that made the first book successful? And if you take his name off of it, you, this book is not going to be successful. And to that, I respectfully answer, well, I'm sure Jesus wouldn't want me to be cheated and stolen from. And this is what's happened to this book. I haven't made a dime off of this book. And so, no, I took the name off because I don't want you to search for beans and rice and Jesus Christ and go find this because this has been out there for seven years. You're bound to find this. So if you put in beans and rice volume two, I want you to be able to find this online. Okay. And it's going to take a while for me to get it out there. So I'm asking all of you, the viewers at my Facebook, the viewers at my YouTube, because I'm going to put this uh, video at both location. If you could just continue to share this for me. That would be awesome because then it will eventually get out there and hopefully overtake this one. All right. So I changed the name for that purpose. I don't want it to go back to this and you get confused. Now, I figured people would be confused if Jesus Christ came off of it by me just naming it Beans and Rice Volume 2. So that's why I put me on the front because I don't want anybody to come back and go, girl, I did see the Beans and Rice Volume 2, but I didn't know that was you because I know you had another book out named Beans and Rice and Jesus Christ with your Belize and Dishes already, so I didn't buy it. Well, you have no excuse. You see me on the front, so you know that it's me. And I do realize that people are strapped for cash and many people may have bought several of these books before in the past or maybe even recently, and you, perhaps you don't have the money to buy this yet, but I would ask you in the near 
future if you could come back and purchase this one i feel like you'll get more value for the money that you put out or maybe you could purchase it as a gift you know for someone else so i thank you so much for your time i thank you for you supporting me every step of the way i thank all my youtube followers that still uh, stay close to me at youtube and I thank you to all my new Facebook followers that have been so amazing over the past 10 weeks since I started to uh, put content here at Facebook. I thank you guys for all your love and support. Thank you for your time in watching this video. Please share the video for me so that the word can get out about the book. Please share this book on all your social media. And um, just tell everybody that this book is better. I love you guys. Bye.